Yes, well, we um, have for many years supported the idea that we need to introduce a form of proportional representation into the electoral system, but one that would also include measures that would increase the participation of women in um, political life. As you know, um, the National Assembly has only 30% women, uh, and that's a fairly stable number. Things have not improved over the years um, considerably, and at the federal level, there are only about 20% of women um, and so these are nowhere near the numbers that they should be at, which should be closer to 51%. Um, so it's a, um, the reason why proportional representation would be a way to encourage the participation of women uh, is twofold. One is that um, it, it would a, a proper system, uh, a mixed system with proportional representation would have a list system, and we could the law could in, ensure that all the political parties include an equal number of women candidates as men candidates on their lists. And so that would encourage um, the participation uh, of women more generally in politics, but it would also have the a positive outcome of increasing the number of women actually elected. Secondly, under a system of proportional representation, you get a, a, a wider uh, variety of positions and parties who present different ideas, whereas right now we tend to have a concentration within uh, the center, and uh, unfortunately some of that erases some of the issues that are of real importance to women when it comes to childcare, for example, pay equity, ju economic justice between men and women, um, violence against women. These are subjects that tend not to have as much um, traction um, in, in in, in Parliament as they could and so when there's a broader representation of women um, or our political ideas then there's some uh, greater po possibility to have women's issues actually take up some room in public life so uh, we've been behind this idea of reforming the electoral system for, for many years now.